In this video, we'll be finding the generating functions for a given sequence. And for this, consider the first example. In this, I want to find the generating function for even number sequence. So there are various ways by which we can find. Let's consider the simple case. In my last video, we did this. Let me to recall this. Let's consider first the generating function for sequence of one so if i simply consider one 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 and for this what would be the generating function so to look at the generating function we should look at the first term that is the co constant term so it is one plus again also it is one so one into x to the power one then one into x square and continue doing like this this is simply one plus x plus x square and plus so on this is simply one over one minus x now, if I take the derivative on both sides, so taking derivative on both side, derivative on both side, what do we get? We get 1 plus, so from here, if you simply look at this one, so you get 1, uh, uh, one 1's derivative will become 0, x to the power 1, now this will become a constant term. This will become 2x, the next term will become 3x square and plus so on, and here we will get minus 1 over 1 minus x square and then again the derivative of inner term that is 1 minus x derivative minus 1 so this is 1 over 1 minus x square now this will give me so this implies what we have calculated we have calculated the generating function for the sequence of 1 we have calculated the generating function for the set of natural numbers now notice that this one is multiplied by x to the power 0. So if I rewrite this sequence, so in this case, how will I re read the sequence? I will read the sequence like the set of natural number 1, 2, 3 and so on. The generating function for this is 1 over 1 minus x square. Now from here, we want to reach to 2, 4, 6 up till 2n. Our question is to find the generating function for the even numbers. So multiply both sides. So now consider the sequence, same sequence, 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus so on. And we know for this the generating function is 1 over 1 minus x square. So here you can simply multiply, multiply both sides by 2. Both sides by 2. And what do we get? We get the first term is 2, the next term is 4x, the next term is 6x square, the next term would be 8x cube and so on. And the right side would be 2, in, 2 upon 1 minus x square. So now you can see that uh, 2 is the constant term, 2 is behaving like that this is a0, 4 is like a1, it's appearing with the x to the power 1, 6 is appearing with x square, so this is a2, x cube is coming with a3 and so on so no term is skipped so we can get the sequence of 2 4 6 8 and so so sometimes i use these uh, parentheses or open parentheses doesn't uh, bother they both represent the same and so this sequence has generating function 2 over 1 minus x to the power 2 so, or you can say that the generating function for this sequence is this and that's the answer now in this example we want to find the generating function for the sequence 1 0 1 0 1 0 and so on so this is an alternate one so in this case we are looking again a n's are given to us n goes from 0 to infinity and if i simply open it up a2 x square plus a cube x cube plus a4 x to the power 4 and so on what is given to us a naught is 1 a1 is 0 and then with a2 is 1 alternatively we are uh, taking 1 0 1 0 starting from 1 and then next a3 this is a 0 x cube and a4 is 1 x4 and so on so now if i look at the series this is 1 plus x square plus x4 and so on x4 so here i want to recall the results that we just did we recall 1 plus x plus x square plus so on this is equal to 1 over 1 minus x so let's call this as equation number one and let's call this as equation number two so now what we do is we replace now if you just compare one and two you can simply see that here none of the term is skipped and here you only have even terms two four six eights coming on so replace x by x square in 2 so when we do this replacement the left hand side of 2 and the right hand side of 1 they both are same 
So in this case, we can simply write 1 plus x square plus x4 plus x to the power 6 and so on. This has same generating function as 1 over 1 minus x square. So remember, here I have done the replacement x by x square. And the left hand side also, if I do a replacement x by x square, I get this one. So this will give me the this one as the generating function for the desired function. So we can simply say the generating function the generating function for the sequence 1 0 1 0 and so on is 1 over 1 minus x square now in this example i want to find the generating function for the sequence 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 so let's write in the same format as we used to write n goes from 0 to infinity a naught plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square plus a 3 x cube plus a 4x to the power 4 and continue to infinity. a naught is 1. This is given in the series. This is a naught. This is a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5. Okay. So, a 1 is a 0 into x. a 2 is 2 into x square. a 3 is a 0 into x cube. a 4 is 3 into x 4 and the next term is 0 into x 5 and the next term would be 4 into x to the power 6 and so on. Now, I want to find what is the generating function for this case. And we notice that this is 1 plus 2 times x square plus 3 times x4 plus 4 times x6 plus so on. So, here it's, it's a natural number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And here this is the even series going on. Now, to handle this, I'm going to recall the previous two steps. So, first recall that I do is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x4 plus so on, so on. Its generating function is 1 over 1 minus x. If I do here a replacement, so replace x by x square. In that case, what it will become? Here, the series will become 1 plus x square plus x4 plus x to the power 6 plus so on. So, we get a generating function over 1 minus 1 minus x square. Now, I am going to compare these two things. And I am also going to replace that taking the derivative of the first expression. Let us call this as first. If I take the derivative of the first case, this becomes 0 plus 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4 times x to the power 3 and so on. So, once I take the derivative, we get minus, uh, we get 1 over 1 minus x square. So, here what I did because taking derivative of 1 and then we do the similar step as I did in this case. So, now we do replace x by x square. So, once now I do a replacement x by x square. So, 1 will remain 1 and this x will become 2 times x square this x square will become 3 times x to the power 4 plus this x cube. Now, we are doing a replacement of x square. So, once we write x square and then take cube. So, this 2 into 3, this will become x to the power 6. So, we get here a term 4 x to the power 6 and so on. And here we have taken 1 minus x is replaced by x square and whole square. So, we get the desired number as we wanted to have in our case. So, we can see that this is our desired problem. We want to look for the generating function for this case. So, we can simply say the generating function, generating function for 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4 and continue doing like this one is 1 over 1 minus x square square. So, we can see the generating function can be systematically developed if we even know the previous one. So, we can either multiply or we can take the derivative or sometime we can even integrate. So, depending upon what is the problem. So, now let's have the generating function for this sequence of odds. And again here, I want to recall the ones that we have already done. So, recall the sequence of ones. For this, the generating function is 1 over 1 minus x. This is the generating function. And here I am writing sequence. And we have just done, if you have set of natural numbers, for this, the generating function is 1 over 1 minus x square. And we have also done that if you have even terms only, 2, 4, 6 and so on. So, what we did? To this one, to this sequence, we simply multiplied by 2. So, the generating function for this is 2 over 1 minus x square.
now for the sequence of odds we can first simply write that into this expanded form and here it is 1 into x to the power 0 or 3 into x to the power 1 5 into x square 7 into x cube and 9 into x to the power 4 and so on now we have to see that these we already know can we use this and to find the generating function for this one so look at these one and call this as the equation number one and two so from one and two if i look these closely and if i subtract these quantity component wise i get the generating function this one three which is desired to see how we are getting let's look subtract subtract two minus one so this is what i want to do do so when i look at the generating function for two what will be it will be 2 that is the constant term then 4 into x to the power 1 then 6 into x square and then uh, it will be even term so 8 into x cube and so on this is one term this is the sequence which we have here on this one this will be the expanded form of the generating function now i want to subtract the sequence of this one that will contribute us 1 that is a constant term next term is also 1 next term is also 1 and next term is also 1 and each terms are 1's so if I subtract this one 2 minus 1 the constant term will become 1 4 minus 1 the next term will become 3 into x to the power 1 the next term is 6 minus 1 so this term will become 5 into x square the next term will become 7 into x cube the next term will become 9 into x to the power 4 and so on now here what we did we have subtracted the two sequences and corresponding to the two sequences we got the desired function as we require so this is same as three this is same as three okay or as a desired now since this is same so this means to find the generating function what we can do is so generating function for one three five seven this is same as the subtraction of the generating function that we got from 2 and from 1 so i'm going to subtract now these two so this one is 2 over 1 minus x square minus 1 over 1 minus x now take the lcm corresponding to this one we got 1 minus x square then we have 2 minus uh, so we can simply write it as 1 minus x and so this becomes 2 minus 1 that is 1 plus x over 1 minus x square now this is the generating function for the sequence of odds.